your energy forecast for Sunday, May 26th. Okay, so the moon is in Capricorn energy here all day, and this is definitely going to bring us a little bit of seriousness in order for us to get focused on what needs to be done. We want to be productive under this energy. We have to really get organized with our to-do list, understanding what it is that we have to wrap up before we can jump into something new. And basically, we're just looking to kind of get shit done. Now, we have 10 different aspects taking place here today. All 10 are going to involve the moon, which means that this is a moon day. Moon days are emotional refinement days, but with the moon and Capricorn energy, we typically want to keep ourselves busy so that we don't have to explore the realm of our emotions. So if we find ourselves in some situations that are triggering and activating at this particular juncture, we're actually going to be able to approach it with a cool headed level headed mind space, because again, we're not emotionally activated with the moon in Capricorn energy. Now that being said, if your buttons get pushed to a certain degree, you will lose your shit just like other people will lose their shit if they're not careful as well. So there is that breaking point where we go from cool and level headed to absolute Hulk O monster. Be very careful of that. Besides that, we do have a little bit of friction taking place towards the end of the day. Definitely going to put a huge spin on our mood and our attitude. But for the most part, the beginning part of the day is really helpful for us to kind of focus on what needs to be focused upon. Again, kind of creating order where there's been chaos, getting organized, not only in our thoughts, not only in our emotions, but in our physical realm as well. So with that being said, the moon is going to make an awkward interaction with Uranus right out of the gate. Uranus is the great awakener in Taurus energy, and this is putting us in a situation to contemplate what it is that we have been doing, especially in the order in which we've been doing it, realizing that the mundane tasks and chores need a little bit of spice as well. We are in Gemini season, and therefore, where it is that we could do the same old, same old in a totally different way. Again, creating new routines, new ways of doing the to-do list, new ways of addressing the tasks, the chores, the roles, the responsibilities. We're just looking to kind of invent new methods to address the old concerns. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money now in this Gemini energy. This particular interaction is going to be good for us because we're very down to earth. We're very, I'm going to say, super focused on where it is that we could be doing things differently to create more happiness, more joy, more playful energy in the realm of our relationship dynamics. We're also super focused on long term goals, especially where routines, relationships and money matters are concerned. Again, with Venus and Gemini energy, we're kind of out in the world exploring different quests, different missions, different options and opportunities to kind of make life a little bit better, a little bit more exciting. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with the sun, who, of course, is shining a very bright light in this Gemini energy. And this is going to do wonders for us. First of all, the moon and the sun coming together is an aha moment. It is an emotional awareness of what it is that we want, we need, we desire. And even more than that, the sun in Gemini is giving us options, giving us different things to think about. And the moon being in Capricorn energy is definitely taking that information, taking those variables and possibilities and really running with it to see the kind of path, the plan, the strategy that we have to kind of get together here in order to advance, to progress on this path towards our new goals, our new visions, our new dreams. The moon is going to get into the square with the north node in Aries energy. This is a tension point. This is conflict point. It doesn't feel good because here's the thing. The North Node in Aries energy wants us to be growing and improving and bettering ourselves and making progress, moving on, moving forward with this new quest, with this new mission, with this new meaning, with this new purpose. Well, the moon in Capricorn energy, a traditionalist, if we want to get real about it, we have to wrap up 
the old okay the capricorn energy is not scattered at all we have to focus and concentrate on bringing something to completion before we have the space energetically emotionally mentally and physically in our physical realms to actually build something new and so although the tug of war is very much alive part of us very much thinking about the possibilities of the future emotionally speaking we're being kind of dragged back into the present moment taking a good look Look at the remnants of the old where it is that we have to clean those particular aspects up before we move on the moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with Jupiter Jupiter of course the planet of growth expansion beliefs abundance and blessing fresh in this Gemini energy we just shifted into this Gemini energy yesterday if you haven't listened to the astro forecast I'm going to recommend you do that if you haven't listened to your main zodiac forecast to understand where this particular aspect is going to be influencing your life for the next year I would definitely do that as well and of course bump that Gemini season e guide out and really capture what it is that you are focused on what the big issues are the big feels are the big topics and themes are in your life right now because this is what we are going to be expanding on over the course of this next year the moon interacting with Jupiter in this way we are thinking about futuristic plans we are thinking about where it is that we could do better where it is that we can grow where it is that we can improve we are thinking about the options and opportunities that are presenting themselves now and the options and opportunities that we ourselves have to create for ourselves to bust away from the same old same old to actually grow and expand in a different direction now normally this would be a lot of hype this would be a lot of magnification this would be a little bit of a manic energy where we're trying to build in an excitement but that moon in Capricorn again keeps us very serious very level-headed we're not kind of running away with ourselves if you will in imaginary land we are definitely taking a grounded approach to the options to the opportunities that we are trying to percolate on in our mental plane the moon is then going to trine mercury mercury of course ruler of the mental plane ruler of information communication how it is that we express ourselves mercury is in taurus energy that is an earth sign capricorn energy is an earth sign this is what gives us our trine we're working with like-minded elements the moon is our heart space mercury is our head space they're both in earth energies making us very present very aware of the present moment of the here and now of our current circumstances of the way that we're thinking of the way that we're feeling and putting us in a very logical practical mindset again kind of pushing emotions and intuition off to the side to concentrate on what we have right in front of our face the matter of fact the physical realm if you will staring us right in our face so we can see what is working and what is not now where communication is concerned because of course that's what mercury rules over as well we are speaking very deliberately meaning we're not really you know just talking to hear ourselves talk we're talking about important matters we're talking about you know long-term goals visions and dreams we're talking about what we actually have power and control over here in this present moment that would align us with the futuristic goals and visions and dreams that we're building in excitement towards the moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Neptune in his place of power in this Pisces energy love this energy because we get to tap into our intuition with this we get to tap into our creativity tap into imaginary land Neptune in Pisces energy very emotional very spiritual very intuitive giving us glimpses of what it is that we want to manifest and we're able to actually structure it logically and practically make a plan around it to bring it to life to manifest it through the Capricorn energy that the moon is in this is a little bit of a refresher a reminder if you will of what it is that we want to build what we want to create what we want to bring to life after we close the door on some of those loose ends that again are on the to-do list for us to wrap up the moon is then going to sextile beautiful interaction with saturn saturn rules over the capricorn energy so this is a little bit of an intense interaction and we have saturn the lord of karma in pisces energy so another element where we get to kind of lose ourselves in la la land lose ourselves in that dreamy visual in our inner realm and saturn and this capricorn moon is going to help us understand the structure that needs to be built 
the floor plans, if you will, the basic foundation that needs to be created in order for us to be building these goals, these visions, these dreams upon. This is going to bring a little bit of a serious note to it, even more so than earlier on in the day, just because, you know, Saturn is typically very serious. The moon and Capricorn already very serious, but we're very serious about our goals, about the projects, about the passion projects that we now want to pursue. So this isn't going to be a harsh reality check. It's not going to be a, a sadness seriousness. It's just going to be a little bit back down to earth, a little bit more logical and practical, a little bit more of a serious tone on where it is that we have to get our ass in gear and actually start building towards something new. The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, very divided between her heart and her head, very divided in the options and opportunities that she wants to pursue in order to make herself feel good, make herself feel happy. This particular interaction is going to put us in a questioning period, questioning whether or not we actually want to abandon what is tried, tested, and true to experiment with what could be. Again, we're listening to our heart space. Venus is bringing that in, but she, in this Gemini energy, is more intellectually based than she is emotionally based. And of course, the moon in Capricorn is all business. We're really lo not looking to go into that emotional realm at all if we can avoid it. So this is going to put us in a situation to kind of do a process of elimination, if you will, with the choices, with the decisions that we're currently trying to contemplate choosing between, especially where our heart space is concerned. And the last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Capricorn energy, getting into the boxing ring, squaring off with Mars. Mars is the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire, and he's in his rulership in Aries energy. This is the frustration that I talked about earlier. This is the agitation that we're going to be sitting in, the restlessness, the anger, the, the activations, if you will, coming to a head towards the end of the day. We are definitely on edge, definitely temperamental. We could throw a tantrum at any point. And we're a little bit feisty, so you have to watch yourself as we kind of move into the latter part of the day, because many of us will be looking for an argument, for confrontation, just as an outlet to get some of the frustration that we've been holding on in our inner realm out of our physical bodies.